Yeah, so wife casting, I did that for six months straight on uh, Justin.tv platform. I was one of their second broadcasters. So it first started out with Justin doing it, who I had met him at Macworld a few months prior. And then they went live, and he did it for a while, and he needed to take a break. So he knew that I did a lot of video blogging and stuff like that. So he's like, hey, do you want to do this for a day? So I did, and then a few months later, I was their second broadcaster. And it was really interesting to see like how these people kind of perceived what you were doing because it's not like TV where you know you watch a movie that's what's happening it's already set in stone these people have influence on what's going on in your life so I would be at a restaurant you know eating dinner and they would start calling the restaurant saying it's my birthday and saying hey Justine's there could I talk to her and the managers would come up to me they're like is something wrong you have all these people calling this restaurant right now I'm like I have no idea I don't know what's going on sometimes people know where I am and they're like okay crazy person <laughs> and I think that was kind of why people liked to watch because they knew that they could have some sort of interaction with what's going on I mean I would be walking in the mall holding the laptop talking to them and shopping oh, I keep looking over there I would keep, you know, I would hold the laptop and just walk and talk to them. And if they saw something that they liked or thought that I should buy, I would go and get it. So it was kind of like a, a real life turn the page book. Go to page 14 if you want to go down this path. Um, I did it for almost six months straight, and um, it kind of, it definitely got scary because people did show up places. They flew from other countries to try to find me and. I typically don't talk about the stalkers because I try to stalk them back so they don't know that I know where they are. I know where you guys are at. I know. Yeah, I, I've been kicked out of a few places um, because they didn't really know what was going on. I almost got arrested uh, at the airport because they thought that I was a terrorist. I was, uh, I was in New York coming back to Pittsburgh and a few secret service agents, whatever they were, I don't know, they got on the flight and when we landed in Pittsburgh, they wouldn't let anyone off the plane. So they like came up to me and they like flipped their badges. They're like, are you Justine Ezeric? Like, yes, what did I do? They're like, we need to get you off this plane right now. There's been a breach of security. I'm like, oh God, I'm going to jail. So they took me in this back room of the airport and they're like, what were you doing? We saw you filming, you can't do that. This is a federal offense, you can go to jail. And I just start crying. I'm like, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm so sorry, I didn't know. Please don't Google me because I don't, I just do not want to go to jail. So <laughs> after that, I, I ran to the restroom and tried to delete like all the traces of Justin.tv from my blog. And I called Justin. I'm like, you need to delete all my archives now. <laughs> yeah, don't film on a plane. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs>